I think instinctually when you're standing on the edge of a cliff, you're faced with two different sides of your mind. First of all, all humans are naturally afraid of heights. Second of all, all humans kind of dream of flying. I'm definitely scared. I'm definitely a little bit nervous. I'm definitely anxious. Fear is your friend. Fear keeps you alive. Fear makes you check your shoot again and again. You know, your heart's pounding. You can almost hear your heart. You're completely living in that exact present moment, and it's very addicting to be that in tune with your body and everything around you. So you're sitting there, and it's like, it's wrong, but at the same time, you want to do it. The dream of human flight is overpowering for some of us, and it's far more important than the fear of the unknown. truly is that dream that we've been having ever since we were kids in real life form. Being able to have that much control so close to something is the ultimate. It's what we've been dreaming about forever. It's definitely become more comfortable. It's definitely become much more of a repeatable sport instead of a stunt. Clemson, America's Birdman, takes off in his plane to give one more demonstration of his marvelous powers of gliding down from 10,000 feet with wings attached to his arms and legs. Leo Valentin, Clemson, all these guys, they, they made the mistakes that we didn't do afterwards. And he hurtles down from 10,000 feet, down, 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 to his death. All of their hard work and the consequences, which have oftentimes been death, have resulted in a really beautiful sport. When I saw the first wingsuits of Patrick, I had some ideas about how to improve it, and that's how I got into building the suits. I built the first one because I wanted my toy, you know. The images of him flying close to the snow slope in Verbier totally blew my mind. This video did open the eyes on the possibilities with a wingsuit. If you deal with the reality of 99 times out of 100, you're not going to walk away from that accident. Somewhere you've come to an accommodation of that fact. When you do this type of thing, and you know all the guys who are doing this type of thing, you have a lot of friends that die doing it, huh? The better you get, the more risk you take also. I mean, skill does help, but it does not erase the risk. About a century ago, the Wright brothers thought they'd started human flight. It's ironic that it's taken another hundred years for us to start to look at the type of bird-like flight that our ancestors would have dreamed of for thousands of years. It's a magical and life-changing experience, just stepping off a cliff, spreading your arms, and flying like a bird. You really do feel like a bird.